with OCD had to do leveling like that. It was, you get five points, you got four categories, each one gets one until they're even, they're all even now. So the next one will get two on that one and then it will go down, that will get an extra one. And yeah. So because of that, my character is extremely limited in um, her abilities. Obviously I've played the shit out of Diablo over the years and I've played many different ways, but um, getting to like play through and do the same thing has been like really fun. Um, let's see, I was trying to get everything equal to three and then I was going to level it up to four so we should only have Pierce left. There we go. Alright, nice. <laughs> Alright. Um, at some point I will put more points into actual attacks and shit. But fucking hell. I just find it so fun. Can I get one of these? I need to restock. There we go. Put an extra one of that in there for the moment. Um, they were so happy. No. It's a happy like Let's see. I do really like Frost Nova. I've already got like Frost Nova on a whole heap of things. But I'm keeping an eye out for something that's got a little bit more defense than what I've got for the crown that I have. Because the crown... I... To explain, to get my gear to actually have a fighting chance, I had to spend some time with Geet and um, gamble as much as I could to get good gear. And it's not great, it's just good. Um, good enough to be able to take on certain like bosses and stuff. Oh man, at some point, at some point it will get, I was going to say maybe it will get easier but not for a while. I also love the fact that everything fucking re-explodes when you come into the room. The only problem is I still don't like the noise that my Valkyrie makes when we enter an area because if I change her over to the old style, she'll actually make that more like a nice like breath, breath kind of noise. I much prefer it. I wish she still did it. I don't know why they felt the need to change that to sounding like a balloon inflating. It's just really weird to me, you know? Oh shit, hold on. What hit me? I healed myself. The fuck hit me? Oh shit, she died too. Good day. Oh, she cost so much. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Fuck it. <laughs> That's the wrong button again. Very specifically the wrong button. All right, let me still have some of my shit. Hold on. Oh man, Hello. that's been a little while. I haven't fucked that up for a while. I don't know what hit me. I was way back. I couldn't see anything hitting me. And then before I knew it, I was just dead. Just gone. That was Wolf Wash waiting to have the yawning. No. All right. I guess let's go back and get my shit. Swap that over. I don't have a... I'm going to have to grab something because I don't have a portal. I didn't even grab a portal for it. Hold up, let me put that on there. Alright, this is why you keep your spare shit. That'll be good enough for me. Uh, this is also why you clear out where the fuck you're going. I don't have to worry about this level. It'll be empty because I already cleared it out. This is something I do like about Diablo. Even if I die, even if it costs me money, even if I have to go find my armor and shit. If I've cleared out an area and I've moved through the game, it's still fucking empty. I, I do not have to worry about it. I love that. I kind of wish more games would do that. That was my biggest gripe with like Diablo 4. The only reason why I didn't feel the need to kill everything at all was the fact that everywhere I went, I, um, what do you call it? If I went into a dungeon, popped back out, there was automatically refresh, replenish enemies. My body's down here, huh? I still just want to bring her up as... I wish I could change her colour. Like, she looks a little bit more gold. She looks more bright gold now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she is. Because before she was a little bit more gold silver. Turn around. Yeah, you have solid gold now. I want it to be bronze or copper or whatever it is. That's my preference for her. But, I know... I've got to stop standing on rats. 
Where is the guy that killed me? Not here? Okay. I can hear them coming. Here he comes. Yeah, give me that. Let's run back a little bit so I can get my stuff in the right order because they put that on there the wrong way. Um, that's right. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Put my fucking mace back. Whatever it is. It's a morning star. I keep calling it mace. I think my helper? No, my Valkyrie's down there attacking. That's okay. I just had to make sure what the fuck was going on because I could hear it attacking something. But I do not have health. This is what I was saying. I spammed health unless I gave it to her. I bet that's what I did. Because you can you could hold down a button and it automatically tops up her health. But if I die, she dies. If um if she dies, I don't automatically die, but let's see about what's going on with you lot. What are you? Extra strong lightning enchanted. And what? This is demon. Because I was reading his name and I got killed and I'm like, nothing was touching me. Even the lightning wasn't hitting me. It had to be something to do with the other one that was there too. Oops, hold on. Either way, that's done. This is just a close off room. Sort of is. I love the ghosts. The ghosts look so awesome. Alright, let me move around. Hi. These things. I don't know why, but they just look so cool. It's not even about the fact that like they fly around or that they're like blue and they can go green and all sorts of colours and stuff. I think it's just a really fucking nice design for like a ghost or what do they call them? Like wraith? Wraith? I, I don't fucking know. I can't. Let's go back up this way. Fill in the gaps. I'll tell you what though, I can't cast my, there we go. There's my decoy. I've been trying to cast her all night and she's not been coming out when I need her. And also, I noticed that like the cold has done a little bit of number in my throat. It um, feels pretty fucking sore. It's not like um it's not like oh I'm sick kind of sore throat. It's just it got cold and it's uncomfortable. I'll tell you what, everything hurts. I'll try not to like absolutely bitch about it non-stop, but yeah, everything aches at the moment. I'm I'm still like toasting up, getting warm and whatnot. I've got the heater on. Uh, I've got like the shawl to keep me warm. Back having Prepare what? Uh, Bouvier for a dog. The all day chalk. I'm, I'm not sure I'm saying that right. Yeah. For a dog is an all day cleaning chore. Is it the, um. Wait. What kind of a dog is that? Hold up. I'm to tap out for a sec. If that's correct spelling, hold up. Everybody, wait a minute. I need to see what kind of dog this is. I sure as fuck can't say it myself. Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to pronounce that. Um, I wouldn't imagine that to be like a, a dog that needs like constant cleaning up and stuff. It, it looks like, uh, you know, one of the breeds where it's like uh, low maintenance until you have to like get its coat like clipped or brushed. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. I haven't heard of that before. She's a big dog. Uh, the photo I just saw on Google and stuff didn't really give me like a concept of like size and stuff. It just kind of like showed me what it sort of was. But um, it makes sense if it's a, a pretty big dog and stuff. Like usually sort of the larger the animal and stuff, the the more kind of like, you know, fur, drool, uh, dust, skin flakes, all the good things. The deliciousness, you know. I'm sorry, I've had I've had cats and dogs. Um and like my both of them are like relatively pretty clean pets. But there's been times like they'll do things. You know how it is. Like it doesn't even have to be like the inside and they'll find a way to like make a fucking mess, you know? Oh I can feel full of pillowcase three days of mount fur she loses. 
and without shedding season. Really? It kind of looks like the type of breed of dog that doesn't really have like a shedding coat. More so, um, what is it, like the hyperallergenic ones where it's like low shedding and stuff. So I was assuming, I was under the assumption that it was um, not going to shed too much. So I was thinking like maybe it was like something else that they're doing. Are you guys taking damage or not? There we go. Finally. Alright, I'll come back into there. That, that makes sense though. Like, uh, it, especially if you have a big dog and they can shed, like, the wind, then, yeah, that's a lot of work. But I mean, the point is, like, if you enjoy the dog, you love them and stuff like that, it's not really that much of an issue. Just, like, a little bit of, like, extra maintenance and stuff. Let's head back into Happily. It's alright, Viking. We're just talking about other dogs. This is so pretty here. Hold up. And I go back, take that off, and I don't know why, but I love like the excessive fucking candles in this area. Like, who the fuck is lighting this? Seriously. Um, yeah, Viking's also a huge wolf, so yeah. The good thing is, doesn't really shed, or at least doesn't seem to shed much. He seems to shed a lot of feathers, though. <laughs> He keeps bringing feathers in. So we have like a, we have a little like collection of feathers and stuff around here. Um, but aside from that, it's, it's not much of a concern beyond that. Um, my cat, Azula. So I've said this a few times before. So Azula um, is a Russian blue cross, right? And she has a super, super dense coat. But in Australia, it's usually kind of warm. Right, so it's a little bit, maybe not the right kind of coat for the weather, you know, not the summer at least. So every single night, or I guess for me, every morning, when I go for a shower before I'm like getting ready for bed and stuff, um, we kind of have this routine where I go for a shower, I hop out, I and Zula's like it. literally at the shower door meowing at me requiring the wet-handed pats so that she can like groom herself better but also so she can drink the water <laughs> but also so then I can proceed to brush her um like brush the water through her coat and stuff so that's basically like my morning routine at the moment uh, wrong button um I wanted that one there we go yeah, so sometimes I'll sit there and I'll like wet her down with like wet hands and stuff, like Good super, dreams. super wet her up, right? And then I will like, obviously I'll go fucking dry myself off and get the amount of cat fur off no. my hands. And um, and then I'll get out like the brush and then just brush the crap out of her. So it kind of like brushes the water in through her coat, but it also like loosens up any of like the, the dead fur and stuff like that she might have. And she's got a lot because she's always shedding. Um, and so what kind of happens is we sort of end up with like i don't know four to six brushes of just cat fur off to like on the pile of bin every friggin morning um just because like she's got that much to kind of give and it's not really much of a problem i'd rather try to help her brush it out than her try to deal with that herself but it's a it's a lot it's so much and by comparison Phoenix, my other cat, he's a uh, like a short hair like breed of cat, right? And he's well, he's a Tonkinese for anybody that wants to look that up. But he has a really short, thin coat, and that means that by comparison, like I can pat the shit out of Phoenix, and if I want to like crack out the brush and stuff and actually really go to town on his coat, like we're gonna have half of his coat come out right that's it that's that's the whole fucking year done and phoenix is now like half a kilogram lighter or something like that not literally but you know he's like that much less of a cat afterwards it's a thing whereas yeah whenever it's like azula she's just got so much more to give and the thing is like i'm usually only working like a couple of spots on her back or like under her belly or a chest or something like that to try to like help loosen up the fur and stuff it's like she's got this spot in her back because I've said this before she's a little bit of a chunk 
right? She's a little chunky kitty. And as part of being little chunk, she can't kind of reach the center most part of her back very well. Um, so it requires it requires manual assistance to help with that. So we often like, you know, wipe it down, rub some water and whatever into it, or we dilute a very small portion of vinegar in a larger amount of water, and that helps like release some of the oils and stuff before like wiping it down with like normal cloth of water. And then we'll like brush it through and stuff. So she really gets like a good fucking solid clean from it. I'm gonna get out my actual other weapon because I haven't used this much. There we go. It's usually stronger against like direct attacks. Hold on. I love this little maze here. It's so pointless. Shakes. Oh, shakes snow out of her wagon to have least snow. Wolf wash. No. You and your snow. Uh, I've got gel level three. That should be where Andariel is. I just gotta finish getting through here. Let's see, let's see, I've got to go up and round and back. Alright, I, I have this kind of problem with Diablo 2 where I sort of tend to accidentally beeline exactly to where I'm supposed to be going a lot. I do it a lot. I do it to the point where I spend more time backtracking through the place, trying to get all of the map and like sorting it out and stuff, than I do actually just clearing it out and then arriving and going down a level. I think it has something to do with probably playing it so much. Oh no you don't. Back up. I reckon it's got a lot to do with like playing the game a lot of years. It's just kind of like automatically knowing. It could also just be that it's a predictable parking situation. Who knows? Sounds like it's probably throwing snow into the air with the tail. I'm watching you biking. I'm keeping an eye on you. I have to fucking question if the snow is going to melt anytime soon where you are, Michael. Oh yeah, there's a bad one there. Because, uh, I remember last year it got really warm. I remember you were basically, like, dying in the heat. Mind you, last year it was, like, really, really cold and crisp here too, but not this kind of, like, nasty crispness. Like, for the most part, I'm well rugged up with my knuckles. Hey, I think that was a jewel. Yeah. And yeah, my knuckles really ache and I'm thinking that's because, I don't think it's because of like right now. I don't think it's like cold here now, right? I think that's got a lot more to do with um, earlier when I was outside. Like, I'm just trying to stretch them for just a second. They, they feel like they're really like, stiff to move kind of thing. I kind of get that with my joints anyway. This is the fantastic part about growing older. Is everything hurts. And things don't move as well as they should. Or used to. And you sound like an absolute old fart just having mentioned it. It's brilliant. I'll tell you what though. The funniest thing I find is a lot of people mistake me for being a lot younger than I am. Uh, especially like when my videos go to YouTube and stuff. I get a lot of people... Uh, assumed that I'm perhaps in like my early 20s and stuff and I'm not I'm mid 30s and uh, so I've got like a lot of I've had a lot of things go wrong over life right but I also have a lot of things just generally wrong and uh, so when I start complaining about something it seems whoa shit, holy shit you guys came out of nowhere it sounds like it's uh unusually excessive or it just sounds like perhaps whiny because usually if you assume young right young people don't usually have like to the same degree of like aches and pains and shit wrong and stuff uh but once you actually put it into context with age and stuff it's like oh yeah no that's that's legit um those guys came flying around that corner i was not ready for that there's still no, there's another there's oh shit! What are you? I can't even read what that was. I had my decoy and I had my helper and my Valkyrie and I was still dying to that. Whatever it was cursed me or something. I do love this, this like little fiery thing over my head, I love it. It's beautiful. Look at the armor. Seriously, look at her armor. The effect radiating off. I haven't had this over me before and been able to see this. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Come back here. Would you fucking stay still? 
<laughs> Stay still! I try to fucking oh I didn't know I could close that. Oh. Time's over, I guess. Um Jeez. I'm trying to like look at it and and my Valkyrie's just like I don't know. I've got like the I think it's like a Mary Poppins kind of song or something going off in my head. It's just like it's hysterical. <sighs> anyway. I guess we don't get to see things. It's just a, a running theme here. I basically filled up my inventory. I think I give you a tip for like where to have. At least there's a side so we will flush. Oh, thank you, Viking. I appreciate the blanket. I wrap that around both of us so I can stay nice and warm. Do I have room for that in my arrows? Because I got real low with that before. Alright, we might have enough that I think. I could probably get all the way down to... I know, there's a little corner around here I've got to get to. What are you tilting your head about? The weird music? I assume it's that. I don't know. I was looking at somebody's about page yesterday, this morning, and somebody had like that really like fucking high-pitched, whimsical kind of music that you get with one of those old shows and stuff, and I'm just like kind of lost at listening to it. I'm like, what the fuck? But no, it was, it was totally appropriate for them. I know it's head for blanket. My wife's so happily snowing. What? I went down the wrong way. Oof. Flush. What? Getting wrapped in blanket. Yeah. You keep me warm, Viking. You and the blanket and flush are gonna keep me warm. It'd be fine. I, it's mostly just like, I, I said this earlier, but I feel like I'm thawing out. Like, I've been home for an hour already, but I only kind of started feeling like I was actually thawing out at the start of stream which is really bad this should be I'm pretty sure this is the level where Andariel should be it's either this or I don't fucking remember stay a while and listen all right let's go get some stuff sold off the the order welcomes you so I'm aware that like the crossbows and stuff are more powerful I just refuse to use them. I like bows. That's me. That's all we need. The A good bow will get it done, you know. Let's put those all away. I'm gonna have to... I should probably have kept some of that because I'm gonna need health, like water, when I go to the fucking fire Dariel. And this has got one of max minimum damage. Okay, I just wanted to check that because... Ooh, 100 attack rating. That's interesting because I will get to... No, I won't get to socket one of these. I can't socket those, but... Do I have one of those? Hold on. I've been keeping at least like one of each type of gem. I do, I do. Alright, no, that's okay. I just wanted to check that. And I think I've got... That's my old pendant, which does all the resistances. Which honestly does help. Yeah, I should have worn that when I went back in to grab my stuff before, but I didn't really end up needing it, so it's fine. Alright, all my shit's healed, and my stuff's away. So the problem I'm going to have is, while I do have some health, I do have some mana and rejuvenations, so I'm going to run out of that when I take on a Daryl, and I'll have a full inventory for that anyway. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know if she's in jail 3, I can't remember. Oh god, it just keeps going that way. I automatically run that way to like clear out a room. I don't think I stood on the rat that time. That sounded like my my helper doing that. Hi. What the fuck? Oh, I love this color. That looks awesome. Get these things. Oh, she leveled. Cool. Nice. My helper leveled. These things just look epic. They just do. That guy is super, super fast. Actually, both of them kind of are. So this is... I'm going to not open the doors. I know they can open the doors. Just to be clear, old Diablo, for some fucking reason... Let me move it back. For some reason, the enemies were able to open doors. And I never really understood why. I actually used to think it was like my helper or my Valkyrie or something doing it. Because I'm like, oh, you know, most games, they don't... They don't have the mechanic for enemies to open shit, but I'm pretty sure they do. Alright. I missed the barrel on the other side, damn it. You know, 
Oh, hello. Wrong thing. I wanted to hit. I wanted to change over to my spear. I oh, don't. So I like the fact. I like and I hate. Let me clarify that. I like and I hate the fact that with the barrels, you have to actually run up and destroy them physically and manually. Um, because when you hit them, what it oh, Jesus, what it does is it can cause you to like get hit by an explosive or something like that, right? You take damage. You take damage point blank, uh, which can kill you if you're not prepared for it or if you don't have quite enough health and stuff. But the thing is, like, I like the fact that I can't just uh, stand in a circle and just go wee with, like, you know, my arrows and just automatically just decimate everything. Ooh, there we go. Now he's standing in it. Guys, like hitting hard. I guess that's going to be a... Uh, concerning fact like obviously once I get up to hell and stuff it's going to be hard enough so the funny thing was like normal wasn't too bad we're a nightmare for anybody that doesn't know uh, normal wasn't too bad there were some places where I was definitely at a disadvantage because of the stats that my person has and there was definitely times where I kind of hoped that I would get better stuff and I just kept continuously not getting better stuff and that was frustrating um but then i also am aware that once i got into like nightmare and eventually hell and stuff like that shit's just gonna be wild um and i know i don't have the gear for it like i can't even do the cow level for nightmare until we enter hell and then i have to do nightmares fucking cow level because i can't take it on she's not strong enough um, and it's all to do with how I fucking specked her out, which is kind of funny because I've done it technically to myself. And this tail stops wagging, forces sleep, it's not getting wolf hush. No. Um. I was trying to avoid going through a few I can't rooms. Carry anymore. If I can't carry that, I may have to go back. Why did I identify that? I wanted to identify the charm. Maybe I can. Alright, cool. I might not be able to carry much else, but I should be able to at least get out of this area here. I do miss being able to like shake down the bookcases and stuff like that. It allowed me to do it for a very, very brief period of time. I'm not even sure where it was. It was just such an obscure thing that happened one day. I'll have to go back. Like, you know how in Diablo and Diablo 2 and stuff like that, like you always used to be able to go up and basically like kick a fucking bookcase and send everything fucking flying, right? And maybe you get a couple of scrolls or a potion if you're lucky. Um, they took that away at some point and I don't know why they did. Because it was one of the, to me honestly, one of the greatest things that they had part of the game. I don't know why I found that so fantastic, but it was great fun. You know, just literally go up and decimate somebody's fucking library into catacombs and leave that shit in ruins and get on with your life, right? But you gotta scroll out of it, so fucking win. Um, and yeah, they took it away, but I'm pretty sure you could do like something similar in some of the other ones. I don't know if it's just like as soon as you get cane or what. I don't know. I don't want to keep using those up. Fucking hell. My hands have gone all fucking sore and stiff. Sorry. I don't have like gloves for warmth kind of thing. Because usually what happens is when it comes around to winter, um, I tend to find, let's put this in here, I tend to find during winter, um, my hands are usually like typically very dry, so and I fucking hate lotion, um, that shit could just burn, but um, yeah because of that like my hands get really dry so I don't like having like gloves on and stuff because I don't like lotion, I can't prevent them from being dry. And so they just get really fucking achy. The only thing I can do is I have a, I have this like cat heater blanket type thing. It's like a USB plug-in and it's just like this flat mat thing, right? And what I do occasionally is I just um, plug in the cat's heater bed and I, I wrap my hand in that. And like this is so much better or I just put my hand on top of it. At one point I had it underneath where my uh, mouse mat sits. So like underneath the mouse mat. So it would just permeate warmth up to where my hand was. How do I get in there? 
There is a room with gold and silver and stuff. How do I get in? The hell? Yeah, there's, there's literally a room here with no door. The shit is this? <gasps> Are you serious? For real? I didn't know that. I I had to have not seen this on the normal playthrough. I didn't know that there was secret doors. I've played Diablo for a really fucking long time. Like, basically since it came out, right? And I don't know that. What the fuck is this? This new experience this week or some shit. It's like, Need for Speed Underground 2? Back in some shit in in fucking what was it seven days over the like start of the week um this ah oh, wait until i tell nick he'd be like I, I bet anything he'll already know this shit he, he finds this shit so much easier than 